So it turns out you actually don't need to write your own custom code in order to control your RGB lights via channel points on Twitch, which is honestly lucky for the both of us because um, I don't think I'm smart enough to do that. I don't know. But anyway, I found two free to use programs that'll work together in tandem to achieve the same results. So today I'll be covering the setup for both of those as well as the setup on Twitch so that we will be able to control our LED lights by either chat commands or channel points. Let's get started. Hello guys, my name is Nens. I'm a variety streamer over on twitch.tv slash Nens with three underscores. Currently, I am streaming every Sunday night from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. So I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. So interestingly enough, when I was doing research on how to control my LED light strips via channel points on Twitch, I found that there were no good guides on YouTube on how to do this one for free or two without coding. So I ended up messing around with two free to use programs and uh, I stumbled upon a solution to all this. So I'm going to be walking you through the setup of each program, the first being Lumia Stream and the second one being Leoran Board, as well as the configuration on Twitch itself for the channel points. I'm going to be leaving a link for everything in the description down below, as well as time codes in both the description and in the top comments. So if you guys need to hop around, you can. Otherwise, let's get started. So I just want to preface this by saying that both of these programs have a few more options than what I'm going to be showing you today, especially Leorn Board. That program is crazy powerful and there are plenty of tutorials out there showing off its true potential. However, I'm just going to be showing you the basic setups to cover what we need to know for our purposes today. Also, this only works for OBS Studios, so if you use Streamlabs, I'm sorry, but this won't work for you. But you know, it's okay. Cause like before I used to use Streamlabs as well before I started using OBS Studio, but you know, I just uh, realized my mistake. Great, so let's start with Lumia Stream. So obviously the first step is to download and install the program from the official website. If you're curious to see if your lights are compatible with this, it does show all the integrations here. If you don't see your lights listed, there is the possibility of buying a smart plug that is compatible with these brands. However, I have not tested this. I'm just offering a solution in case you guys wanna try. So don't jump into the comments and start yelling at me, okay? Because I'm sensitive but we're simply gonna click where it says, get it now, and it'll bring us here. And if you notice when you're scrolling down, it says that Twitch chat points aren't available with the free version, but don't worry because my FBI agent who watches me through my camera gave me some cheat codes and I trust him. So go ahead and click the free version and choose Windows. If you choose Mac, my FBI agent will find you and he won't be so friendly then. So don't do that. Instead, just follow the installation steps after downloading and open the program when you're finished. Once we open the program, it's going to bring us to the main page. Just go to the top right corner where you see the options cog and click on that. From there, we're going to go to our connections and link everything we need in order for Lumia to receive data from Twitch and send data to our lights. This is where I'm going to mention the clunkiness of Lumia. Every time you try to do this, it sends you back to the home page and then you have to go back and click through again and it's kind of a mess to be honest. But once you complete your connections, you can go to the chat tab and view the colors that are available to choose from. These are the basic colors included with the free version. There are supposedly more colors that come with the pro version. Um, however, I don't see a need for anything outside the basic colors that's provided with the free version. If your chat's really asking you for requests like, oh, could you please change the lights to aquatic sapphire? Chat, I got blue, take it or leave it. Underneath each color option, there are brightness sliders. Depending on where your lights are, I would actually suggest adjusting these as the default 100% is overwhelmingly bright, depending on the color. It's super quick to test by clicking on the test icon after adjusting. And just remember to save your changes, you need to click on the home tab. But then below this, there is a button that lets you choose what role is allowed to use this chat command. I personally have mine turned off. I feel they're better as channel point rewards because of their spammable nature, but it's up to you what you feel is best. From here, the chat commands are already available. So if that's all you wanted to do, you can hop into your chat and test this by typing in exclamation mark and whatever color you would like to test and it will work with no further setup. But if you're interested in channel point rewards, then we need to head over to the hotkey tab and set up some hotkeys for each color. So we're gonna click where it says add hotkey and choose a key that we don't use often. I chose my number pad keys, but feel free to 
assign them to whatever key you find best. Then under type, choose chat color. And then for the value, choose the color you want associated with that key and click save. And now you should see your new command listed below. Just repeat the same process until you have all the colors you'd like. And remember to click on the home tab once you're finished. Before we're finished, we actually need to go back and check the default tab. So you have a couple of options on how your lights will behave after a chat command is entered or channel points are redeemed. And that's gonna be under the default type. So there's an option called color. What this does is have your lights revert back to a selected color after an event happens. So if your chatters redeem the color blue and you have have your default type set to red. After a few seconds of the lights being blue, it'll toggle back to red. I personally have mine set to do nothing because I feel like if my chatter spent the time to earn all those channel points, then they should be able to keep the color of their choosing. This may seem obvious, but it's worth mentioning that Lumia Stream does take over your lights. So this does come with a small sacrifice and functionality. For example, you can't have dual colors and you can't have gradients. So while Lumia Stream is running, don't go into the lights native app and try and change it because it will bug out. All right, so moving on, we're gonna need two things. One is the OBS WebSocket, which is required for Leon board to be able to communicate with OBS. It is very easy to install. All you need to do is download the installer and it'll do everything for you, so no sweat there. And the second is Leon board. Head to the download page and download the zip file from the list. Save it and extract it to a folder where you won't lose track of it. Open the folder and click where it says Leoran Board PC. From there, you're going to want to open up the receiver application at the bottom. When you do, you'll be greeted with these options. If you don't see them, just click on the options at the bottom. Don't worry about the numbers here. Just make sure to check auto connect because we want to auto connect both Twitch and the OBS WebSocket every time we launch the app and hit accept. So what we are looking to do is get all of these guys grayed out. So first we need to connect to OBS. So just make sure you have OBS open with the WebSocket installed and click on connect to OBS. If you've done everything correctly, it should automatically connect. Then we are gonna link our Twitch. So click where it says link Twitch account and click open URL. It should open a web page telling you that everything is good and Leoran board should tell you the same. Next, we need to connect to Twitch, but don't click quite yet because if you do, you're gonna see this message. Basically, it's telling you that you need what's called a TSL transmitter so that Leoran board can receive information from Twitch. Now, where can we possibly find one of these TSL transmitters? I, uh... Oh yeah, it's right here in the folder. You'll see that it's actually an HTML doc. So what we need to do is set it as a browser source in OBS. This isn't gonna be visible to your stream, so you can add it into any scene. I'd suggest one that you don't use often and just add it as a browser source. To add a browser source, just click the plus icon in your source tab, select browser, choose a name and hit okay. From there, click the local file and click browse. Choose the TSL transmitter from the Leoran board folder and click open. So just go ahead, hide the source, lock it away somewhere, never to be seen again, because that's all we need from it. If we go back to Leoran board with OBS open and the transmitter added, if we click connect to Twitch, we see this time it will auto connect. And now we finally get to move on to the fun stuff. So now we need to make a new deck. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. I named mine lights. Click in and you'll see a grid with a bunch of empty cells. You can imagine this like a stream deck and all of these squares are different buttons for you to press. So what we need to do is make a button for each color we want as a redeemable option for our channel points. Right click a cell and choose create blank button. Name it after the color you want and hit create. Right click your new button and select add keyboard macro. Click the plus icon and select the key that you set for that color earlier and hit done. Then right click on that same button but this time add a twitch trigger Hit the plus icon and choose point redeem with message. We want to name the redeem section after what we named the channel point reward in Twitch. Keep in mind that this is case sensitive and the spelling must be exact. In the message box, we want to name it the selected color and just know that this is also case sensitive. So when a viewer redeems this, they must type it in as it is here. I would recommend checking the add to request queue box as this will make sure multiple redemptions are queued in case more than one request is redeemed at the same time. Afterwards, hit done and make sure you hit done again on the top right of the deck page to save your changes. Repeat the process for as many colors as you like. This is what mine looks like when it's finished here. So if you're an affiliate, you'll have access to channel points. 
To configure them, head to your Twitch dashboard and click the community tab and then go to channel points. Go to manage rewards and challenges and add a new custom reward. I've already created one and you can follow the same format if you'd like. Just make sure you select require viewer to enter text. The reward name matches up with what you put in Leoran board earlier and let your viewers know they need to be careful when entering the color of their choosing. Set the cost to whatever you feel is best. It doesn't have to be expensive as you can always add cooldowns or limits down at the bottom. Once you're finished, hit save and now we can test to make sure everything is working properly. Go back to your dashboard and in your own chat, you can check to see if the redemption event triggers the light change. I just wanted to note that you are going to need Lumia Stream, Leon Board, and OBS open all at the same time in order for this to function. So if you forget to open one of those applications before you start your stream, it's not going to work. And of course, if you guys have any questions about any of the things we talked about today, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. But as for me, I'm pretty sure I'm going blind from all the testing I've been doing, so I'm going to go. You guys have a great day or night, depending on where you're at. Um, but my bed's right here, and uh, I'm just, I'm literally just going to lay down. Like, you guys think I'm joking, but I'm actually just going to go lay down right